Well, there's my knife. My uh, camera doesn't do too hot because the lens is scratched, but I went from <clears throat> this old rusty saw blade to this. The defile work down the back of the, the uh, spine. Did the tiger maple handle with the espresso stain? Did the uh, paws mosaic pins? And as you can see, I got a pretty good polish on it. But I'm really happy with it. I got it sold to a guy at work. Hopefully, I'll get more orders. I'm hoping. And uh, I don't have a stamp yet, but I did sign it, engrave my name on the bottom, kind of hidden, but I'm happy with it. I hope he likes it. I'll show you the sheath, show you what the sheath looks like. Had a hard time matching the sheath, but the color you can't really tell on the phone, but it's a little different, but... I hope he hope he likes it. He bought it for a present for his dad for Christmas. And there's the finished product. You can see the color now a little bit now that I get it tilted the right way. But yeah, hopefully I can get some stains that match at the local Tandy Leather artificial sinew. What I should have done here is went three stitches back, and then I went ahead to tie that knot. But that's all right. Did the wet molded sheath. Hopefully he's pleased. I know I am. Alright, thank you. And uh, thanks to uh, Crash Blades. Crash Blade Knives. He's the one that really helped. Without his videos, uh, you know, I don't know what I would have done. But there's other posts. But Crash Blade Knives and uh, another forging guy I like to watch is uh, Iron Man. Of course, Myron Man. But he's no longer listed as Myron Man. But if you look under Forged Tomahawks and Forged Knives, he's got a pretty cool website. And uh, he walks you through a lot of knife making process and uh, polishing and sanding and all that. And he really helped me too. And uh, thanks to all them guys, that's what I got. Thank you.